This is Culinary Crossings. Join us on our first tour through Europe with our culinary team, Jeremy, TJ, and me, Megan. The goal, travel, taste, and learn. Let's go. Here we are at the hostel that we're staying at in uh, Brussels, Belgium, having a couple beers, good conversation. I wouldn't call it good conversation, probably drunken conversation, but you know, <laughs> what's the difference? Uh, but you know what, all in all, it was a good day. I I never thought anything would top our first day in Amsterdam, but our first day in Brussels, Belgium, really set really set a standard, and I'm glad we're here. I can I can only not I can only think about what's what else is in store for us while we're here in Belgium. With the beginning of the day, we traveled probably a good five, six hours from uh, Amsterdam to Brussels. Probably missed about two or three chain or trains, the usual. Uh, finally made it here, checked into the hostel. We're staying out right now where we're at. And we finally arrived and kind of took a two-hour nap because we were completely exhausted. We woke up at 4:30 in the morning to take a train that left at like what seven. After our nap, we woke up, got ready, and we decided to go out for the night and uh, just sightsee Brussels, see what it had to offer us. So we went, we uh, saw the square, which was beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful country, city. It's, it's amazing. Me and TJ got some Belgian waffles, which were amazing. Anything with sugar is amazing. The waffles were probably that thick, and the cool whip that they put on top of it was that thick. It was just to die for. And we uh, went to this restaurant that we got kind of pulled into. It was a fine dining experience. Had some wine, had some Belgian beer, had a nice little uh, dinner set up for us, uh, which is really good. So I had like the most amazing mousse frites today. Um, so the, the mussels were like steamed in white wine. It was so good. After that, we uh, came back, sight saw a little bit more. Ended up missing our metro connection. So we had to start walking towards our hostel. And on our way to the hostel, we ran into a couple other people that we had previously met. Other Americans, as you, as you say. Um, and they were headed to this bar. It's called Delirium. Uh, apparently it's famous for all the beers it has, over uh, 2,000 beers. I'm sure it's in the Guinness Book, Book of World Records. So of course they're headed to this bar and we're headed home. So what, what are we going to do? We're going to go to the bar with them. Um, so we went, we, we asked permission to film, we couldn't film, so you don't really see too much of what went on there, but it, it was pretty fun. It was, I'll admit, it was pretty fun. <laughs> we have a couple beers, and I starts out, you know, kind of, you know, kind of chill, and then of course, as we pound down a couple more beers, you know, shit starts getting real, and we start having more, you know, start getting, getting loose, getting fit with all these little, you know, other guys that we're with, and as the night progresses, uh, we find this other little bar across, across the way that has uh, absinthe, so, you know, we're in Europe, why not take a shot of absinthe, so we all go into this little bar, line up about 10 shots of absinthe, we all pound that shit down, and we're feeling pretty good. So, you know, we're having a good time. Uh, we walked we walked our asses back all the way to the hostel, got a little lost, but found the way, and here we are. After a complete mix-up of direction and who knows, half of that time I had no clue where we were going, just pure luck of following everybody else. Uh, but it was fun, we had a blast. That bar was amazing. <laughs> so, good night, Cherry On. Love you. Uh, this show is a good time. Uh, we're talking with some uh, some English guys right now, spitting some heavy shit. Um, it's time to get back to the party. I'll be right. No, I'm gone. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video diary on our first date in Brussels. To see that video, click here. Don't forget to subscribe to our Culinary Crossings YouTube page, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos.